Hello, in this video we'll be looking at the time-based operators inside of your calculation expression in the GX. So with T log and C log, you can average, uh, find the maximum, minimum, uh, sum or peak to peak of a channel or with C log multiple channels for a given amount of time. You have to set up a timer for these, but we will look more into timers in a later module. So um, if I do T log dot sum of channel, let's say one, it will sum the value of channel one throughout uh, a time and it will output that sum uh, or it can average it. It can find the maximum value uh, for a given for a specific amount of time and the minimum and this P dash P stands for peak, peak to peak which is the difference between the minimum and the maximum value C log is pretty similar except uh, it can take in multiple channels so if you do C log dot sum and let's say you want to sum channels 1 3 and 5 you do 1 dot 3 dot 5 close parentheses and that will give you the sum of all of these uh, but you can also do uh, the dash which is this minus sign here and let's say you want it to 10 and it will sum all of the channels from 1 through 10 uh, now uh, these other operators are the which will tell you the value of the previous scan for a channel um, hold let's say I want to do um, hold one let's say I want to do hold one two so what this will do is it will hold the value of 2 when 1 is true. So when channel 1 is a non-zero value, uh, it will stop uh, adding to channel 2. So th that value will freeze, basically. That is the hold. And the next operator we want to look at is the reset. So let's say I go to reset. Uh, five same format two uh, it will reset two when channel five is true so when channel five is a non-zero value uh, channel two will go back to zero and um, then there's the carry function so let's say um, I do this which uh, the carry can only be used with T log. So T log sum. So let's say I do this. So what this will do is it will sum the values of channel 2 throughout time. And once it reaches the value that you input here at 1, which usually should be a constant, actually not a, not a channel, um, let's say k1 which in our last module we set to 273 when this sum reaches that number it will reset it will restart go back to zero and finally there is the if then else statement which is this weird one looking here um, and so let's say I do one two three so if then else if channel one is true then the value of this math channel will be channel two if channel one is not true then the value of this channel will be th will be three um, that is it for the calculation expression section of our math modules um, Thank you very much. With this, you should have a basic understanding of how to create a calculation expression and use all of the functions. Thank you.